Hi, my name is Bogdan. I'm the owner of DNN Sharp. In this video, I'll show you how you can create uh, custom titles for search results that are documents. So right now, what happens? Search Boost uses the file name as the for, as the search result title. But in some cases, like we receive a few requests, you need to display a title that is saved elsewhere. For example, in the database, like DMX module does, or the standard .NET um, documents module and to do that we've created a mechanism based on my tokens that hooks into the um, .NET Nuke metadata uh, files if you don't know what metadata file is you can go to our documentation site and check it out it's basically an xml file that is saved per folder or per uh, document that has additional information about how the data can be, uh, how the document should be indexed. And I won't go in through this at this point. You can read the documentation, but I will just highlight this new uh, property which I just added, which is the title token. So basically, it's a token in this format, where uh, first part is the namespace or the data source, and the second part is the token name. And what Surplus does, it actually builds something like this. So it, it, it invokes the token like this. Token name and then pro sends along two parameters, the name of the document and the relative path to the document. So I will show you how uh, I've created this token. Here you can see I created a token, my friendly name. And in the SQL, I just wrote uh, select friendly title from a table where name equals, and this is the parameter I received. It will get replaced the parameter I received, and then I just extract the friendly call or friendly title column which I need. And I will sh also show you in the database. I have this uh, table, and here I associate a name with a friendly title. So I just uh, create a document, uh, a document, let's say my doc, and here I say nice title for this document. And here to make it real ugly, I'll write it like this. Okay, so now I'll go on disk and also create this uh, document. I already did some test, I just renamed this one, my doc. .345 and again my .345 and I will uh, this is the PDF and the second file is basically the metadata file so this is the file name dot sb metadata so this file it's an XML file and uh, for this example, I only specified one property, which is this title token. So basically, I just wrote the name of the token. And Circus will take care to build the whole syntax and invoke my tokens using this. Okay, so now that I have, um, I have the metadata file, I have the token, I should go back to, to do a full index. So I will clear clear the index and then I will just give it to rebuild it to make sure I test the uh, latest results and in the meanwhile I have to show you another setting that is located under general settings and it's called replace tokens in search results without this option token will not be actually be replaced so you have to turn on these options and I'll demonstrate it in a few when the indexer finishes Okay, it's done. So now I will go back to the portal and I will search for my doc 12345. And now notice that instead of seeing the name of the document here, I see this nice uh, text that comes from the, from the database. Now if I go back to the search settings, to the search input settings, and then I disable this uh, replace tokens option. You'll see that instead of seeing the nice title, now I see the token. 
So it's important to know that the tokenization happens at search time. So now if I go in the database at any point, but let me re-enable the search options first. So if I go back into the database at any point and I change this, the changes will be reflected uh, immediately. Of course, you should go into the token and actually set some caching time. You don't want uh, Servus to make uh, 10 queries for to lo when it loads the page of results just to get the title. So maybe you want to cache this to cache uh, the values that are returned by this token. And this is it. Remember, you need the metadata file, you need this token, which is a database token, and then you need you need uh, to enable tokens from this general screen, and everything should uh, should uh, work. This table will probably uh, be different for depending on the module you use, but the same the same uh, mechanism can be applied. And even if the data is not already in the format you need, like for example now, service will pass along the name that uh, it currently uses, that would be displayed as, uh, as the research title if you don't do anything. And then it will uh, display the relative path, but maybe you, need, uh, more, uh, you only need the, the name of the document plus the extension. And then you can take that from the relative path, just, uh, just modify the token to do to do a substring this is basically a, qu a query and you here you can do you can do a substring on for example on relative path parameter and do a substring on it so it's all very 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 customizable and this is it i hope uh, i made things simple and uh, thank you for your time